Good morning, Royal Highland Show bound. Got a few machines to look at, a few things in mind. Let's go. Right, we're at the Highland Show and me and Dad are just looking at fuel bowsers because we are in the hunt for a fuel bowser that also does add blue. This is the first one we've come across, fuel proof. I've not looked into it too much, but we looked at this one. It's a split tank, add blue, diesel, 1000 litre diesel, 200 litre add blue on a twin axle trailer, eight and a half grand. I mean, it's perfect what we're needing, but Jesus, it's expensive. Right, I'm at the Bateman stand for a specific reason. Well, I was picking up a ticket as well, but there's another reason, which have a guess. This is the spread of bales. My cousin Crawford's got one of these. We saw it in action, I quite liked it actually. He had a wee smallish one like that. Maybe that was it. Yeah, it was like that. Right, we're seeing a spread of bale in action. It's on an articulated forklift, so it's quite good when you're in a central passage to shift about a wee bit. Good piece of kit, actually. Might need to have a look into that once the shed's up. This is a big slurry tanker, and that's only half of it. What a belter of a thing that is. That is outrageous. Jesus. That's some piece of kit. Big black wrap on it. This is basically Agco all down here. Massive ultra faint, that whole bit. I wonder how much all that grass costs for Agco. Full pneumatic crush. Tiny wee lever over there. Bang, squeeze, bang open, headstock. Bang, bang. Three wee levers. Operate the whole thing from here. You do me one. Uh, <laughs> Back door. But this is, this is a... Squeeze. There's a pressure regulator down here, so you can up the pressure or down the pressure depending on how it's squeezing. And then just the same at the front headstock. I don't want to know the damage of one of these how much it costs, but lovely, lovely. Overkill for the numbers we're at, but still lovely. Don't even need a massive compressor. Tiny wee compressor. What's that, is that running your sheep one as well? Yeah, it's running two of the sheep ones. Two sheep ones and one cattle. Oh, actually three. The benefit of that air one versus hydraulics, no electrics, none, just need it. Airline and that's it, done. Right, we're back in at the Teagle stand. You'll remember we got a telehawk there on demo, which was good, quite liked it, but I think we're more suited to a trailed machine like one of these but once we get the shed up and we get into action and we've got the cows through it and we know numbers and how it's working we'll then yeah, have a look at one of these or quite interested just depends how much time it takes to do to do it on how much time it takes rolling out bales I don't mind rolling out bales but if it takes up half the morning it's a time thing rather than a anything else thing interested anyway right this big shiny red machine we've just been talking around it with a salesman Oh, I, I, I'm going to have dreams about this machine, to be honest. This is a 32 metre, I think. 5,000 litre tank on it. Did look at this machine last year at the show. A horse, anyway, and we just... We never got around to doing anything about the sprayer, which we regret. It is fully kitted out. It is a lovely machine. There's loads of gizmos and good points on it. We wouldn't need to spec all the good gizmos, but some of them, we would. Fully pneumatic, all air. Um, it's hydraulically driven. You can get PTO, but not many people do nowadays, anyway. That's a nice machine. Just been looking here at a, at a Lemkin stand. Three meter drill here. We're on a three meter drill, but I don't know. Maybe eventually we'll end up at four. We've not got immediate plans anyway. We're just asking a few questions about it all. Here's another brand of sprayer. We've just been chatting to them. Night. Won't be getting a self-propelled one, but chatting to them about trailed. There's Cammy's cord bike. It's up for raffle. Anyone wants it? That's an interesting office. They obviously do bowsers here. We're just asking about fuel bowsers. There's two things we need as a sprayer and a fuel bowser. All the rest is just looking at shiny toys, but fuel bowser, trying these guys. All these combines are a wee bit dirty. My sticker's still there though. I can show you never ending stands right here. The machinery is never ending. Right, our, our cabin cameras, Farmstream. This is my pal Eddie. We set up the business a couple of years ago. You and Callum. Hello, guys. How's the sales going? Loads, loads of money coming in. Ah, yeah, sales are going well, thanks, yeah. Pleasure to be featured on Crawford's videos here. Oh, what a lucky man. Farmstream, <laughs> get there your cameras go. there. 
What do you do? Sheep, cattle, anything? Yeah, livestock monitoring, security, um, all sorts of different applications. And you get... Right, boys, you're back. These guys have been on. They're famous now. How are you getting on with the, the style you bought for the sheep? Yeah, it's really good. Good lads. You're going to go and see sheep game later as well, aren't you? Yeah. I'm the favourite. Yeah. <laughs> good lads. I'm needing that for my grass. We've just been in the rivals to the ones we like. Right, I've just had my tea next to a big shiny red combine. Nice combine, that good tea. tea There's the old pair. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to get me to buy a case combine. Yeah, case. <laughs> nah, no chance. <laughs> this is another fuel bowser we looked at. Another two thousand pounds, ten thousand five hundred quid for that. Does the exact same job. I think I preferred the other one to be honest. Same idea though. Thousand liters, got an ad blue tank on the back. Runs off a twelve volt battery. They don't do a solar kit for it, the other tanks do chassis for it, which is not as easy to take off. The other point, other one you can put a kind of three-point linkage on it and put it on the front of your tractor maybe. Stuart trailers are fairly packed in their stand. They've literally got the trailer we're after there, just about. Well, that's triaxle, we're not really needing triaxle, but oh, what a lovely piece of kit that is. Stuart trailers, I have tried my hardest to get a, a good deal from them. They've given me a little bit. Um, but we've not done anything about it yet, but something like that, not needing a triaxle, twin axle, but a trailer that can do bales, digger, the lot. But they are lovely pieces of kit, Scottish made, blue, lovely. Job done. I got a short straw. We flipped a coin, I lost, so Dad got to drink all the beers and I'm taxi duty. Great. Anyway, we're just picking up some boxes of peonies, flowers for the farm shop, Kinross. Quick update on the dugs. Baxter is eight months old. Betty is, what, three months old? Not quite. Baxter's an absolute monster. Betty is a wee nippy bandit. She likes to jump, she likes to nip. She's got massive lugs as well. Look at the size of them. They get on fairly well. Here, sit. There you go. I am disappearing away on holiday actually for a few days. So by the time I get back, everything you see behind me will be gone pretty sure so we've totally cleared everything out it's ready to just get ripped down there's a bit of wood in there some will keep some's getting burnt stones are going to bottoming all the metal is going to scrappies and then we can begin the process of whacking up a big new shed and um, so steel arrives late july so i'm thinking the steel within kind of five weeks maybe six will be up Roof on, sides on, then the floor will need to be laid, then all the gates will need to be um, put in. So yeah, but it's all starting to kick off. It needs to be done for cows coming off of grass. So we're, we've got a bit of a, a time constraint, but last shed we built with SNA, all went smoothly, all went to plan. So fingers crossed for that again. But next time you see this area, it'll be gone. Cheers for watching. Anyone new, please just subscribe. Just whack the subscribe button, it helps me out. We'll try and get to 20,000. That's the goal pre-harvest. It's, it's a tough ask, but we'll give it a whack. If we manage it, we manage it. And like the video as well. Right, go and subscribe before you go and watch something else or go and have your tea or go to bed. 